Welcome back to Little Country Heaven. My name is Rachel and if you want to see how our kitchen went from this to this, please keep watching. In 2019, we found our cottage in the woods, the house of our dreams, but this kitchen was completely black and though it was beautiful, we decided to paint over it with a cream color and it was a lot of work. It was a lot of cabinetry to cover, but we finally got it done. And this is how our kitchen has looked for the last almost two years, but lately I've been really inspired by cottage kitchens and I love wood backsplashes. I think they look very earthy and very nice. So we got started by removing the backsplash that we had before. We had painted this one from the previous owners. Obviously, when we were first buying the house, our budget was really tight and we did what we could. So we had spray painted this one, but now um, I thought it would be a good idea to make a beadboard backsplash backsplash in real wood and so that's what we're going to be trying to do in this project. This that you're seeing here is also the old hardware that we had on the cabinets from the previous owner that we had spray painted to match the copper but as you can see with paint eventually it does um, tear away so we were excited to be able to purchase new ones in much better quality and we were able to replace them. Here I'm showing the old ones and the ones on the counter were the new ones. So I'm getting started here by removing all the easier knobs that I can do and my husband Jose will be doing the other ones later on because you do need a drill to remove them. about them in the comments below. Here we are testing our stain samples and we ended up going with a stain called Special Walnut. Our floors inside of the house, the hardwood floors, are a dark color walnut. I think it's called Dark Walnut. And we decided to go for this medium color walnut because we thought it was a good transition color from the darker floor to the lighter cabinets. These beadboard panels were special ordered from Home Depot. They don't have these in store. And we had ended up having to cut these with a handsaw because they're very delicate and they started kind of coming apart with the saw. So we had to do that by hand. And here's my husband applying the stain, which he ended up applying three coats of for the color that we ended up going for. projects over the last few days. Spring has slowly come to our little country heaven and we've seen a lot more little birdies and we hear the bird songs a lot more. And here we have some daffodils that are springing up all over our place.
It was late at night when we were finally able to nail the beadboard panels to the backsplash wall and it was quite the feat because our nail gun wasn't working quite right but we figured it out. So later on I started making some new curtains for the window in the kitchen and these you can't really tell but the color is a cream with a gray green it, lo it looks a lot more olive in person you can't really see it as well here in the video but in real life they do look more green take a moment take an hour take another year Start again or keep going, I'll always be right here Feel anything you feel, hear anything you hear You'll never disappear When it feels like you're walking back When you're out of luck and off the path Broken and far from home and I found this beautiful lamp at Walmart. It's a bronze color with a burlap uh, little lampshade and I thought it was so cute. And this is my beloved tea kettle lamp, stained glass lamp that I just love so much. And it is from Wayfair. So if you're into the cottage look, you know all about white and blue china. I do have a lot of it in the kitchen. So I love this little flower arrangement with the vase. And these are the new rugs for the kitchen. I found them at a store called At Home. And I loved how it brings some of the rust colors that go with the copper hardware that we chose. I hope that when you look at you, you see yourself the way that I do. This tea kettle is from Lennox. It's from their collection called, I believe, Butterfly Meadow. And I do love a lot of the china and the objects that this company makes. Broken and far from home Just remember that you're not alone In the face of another storm When you're feeling like you're on your own In that moment you can't control And I just can't wait to seal the green foliage very soon out this window. the beadboard backsplash turned out. I think it gives the kitchen such a vintage cottagey feel. It makes it feel really cozy and warm and I'm really enjoying it. We truly hope you have enjoyed this cottage kitchen transformation and we hope to see you in our next video very soon. Bye!